It's 2024 and content marketing is king. And there's one reason behind that. Volume begets luck. What I mean by that is, if you only put out something once or twice, you'd need to be really lucky to be able to sell that thing. But if I put out 10, 20, 30, 40 pieces of content, it becomes a lot easier to get lucky. Further to that, if you're only putting out one or two pieces of content a week, it takes you a really long time to collect data. So say I need 100 data points to know if I'm making the right decision, it takes me much, much longer to accumulate those data points if my frequency is low. But if I'm putting out a high volume of content and getting lots of data in return, my decision-making process is that much easier and I can get more accurate much faster. If the goal is to make a great piece of content that goes viral, you're more likely to create that piece of content within the volume of content that you create rather than just simply trying to make one piece of viral content. As a business owner, you wear many hats. There are a lot of jobs that you need to do on a daily basis. I myself, I'm a business owner, I'm a coach, I'm an educator, I'm a mentor, and I'm a content creator. There's a lot of things to do within a day. So what I've decided to do is share with you my strategy on how to create as much content with as little effort as possible. With my strategy, you'll be able to create one piece of content and whittle it down into about 20 total pieces of content seamlessly and with very little effort. So how do we do it? First, you're gonna to need to create a really great picture of who you are and what you represent. Essentially, I want you to go over your entire life story and create a storytelling document. Within this document, you're gonna go over who you are, what makes you special, what experiences that you have. Essentially, tell yourself the story of your own life. The reason you're gonna do that is because it's gonna bring some awareness to what makes you special. What notable experiences have you been through and what cool shit you can share with your audience. Once you have a clear life story and you have that awareness created, now you're gonna create what's called a brand document. Your brand document is what your brand stands for, your beliefs, your values, your mission, and your vision. What this is going to do, it's gonna create alignment between your life and your business. And once you have that, you have a clear picture of the voice with which you're going to speak. Think of the people that you respect the most in the industry. What do they all have in common? They're all genuine and they're authentic. They believe the things that they say. Are all the things that they say true? Probably not, but they believe that they are. And that's what's important. People who put out content for the sake of making other people happy, very rarely put out the content that you wanna see. People who put out content with the intent of making other people happy don't end up lasting. And it's the folks that are genuinely themselves and portray themselves in a professional manner and showcase their personality, those are the ones that you want to follow. Once you know who you are and once you know what you stand for, now you have a voice and now you can talk to the masses. But what are you going to talk about? And this is the key here. We're going to create an ideas document. Come with me. So this is an example of an ideas document. What you'll see at the top, we have our brand topics and then we have ideas one all the way through 10. Now I've chosen brand topics for myself and my channel based on the stuff that I talk about. Nutrition, training, lifestyle, coaching, business, mindset, and then social media and marketing. And within each one of those topics, I have different categories. So within nutrition, I'll talk about protein, carbs, fats, fat loss, muscle gain, metabolism, hormones, and all the way down the line. And I will add to these constantly because there's always different ideas that come up and I spend a few minutes in this document every single day. What I'm gonna do for each one of these categories is I'm going to pick an idea. I'm gonna pick an idea as it relates to that topic. What you'll see is that if I have 10 ideas for every topic and category, and I have right now 50 categories, by the time I'm done with this document, I will have 500 ideas of things that I can talk about. That is very, very profound. Once I have these ideas, now it's time to look at what to do with them. Content creation is very simple. Once you have the ideas, you're going to look at how do I make this palatable and relatable to my audience? For that, you need a hook. The hook is the first line of the video that gets people's attention, gets them to raise their hand and say, this is a problem that I have. I think this person can solve it. Think about it as if you gave someone a gift and you wanted them to open it right there and then. How would you describe that gift and how would you make sure that they felt the impulse to open it immediately? That's your hook. Once you have the hook, you have to attach it to the big idea. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna create one long form piece of content. And usually that's gonna be written. In that written piece of content, you're essentially gonna write it in a blog post, almost like a script. 
I would equate it to a script that I would write for a YouTube video that I'm about to create. Consequently, I didn't use a script for this video, so we'll see if you guys like that better or not. A great way to come up with hooks and attaching them to big ideas is to consume content from people that you enjoy watching. Pay attention to the way that they speak, the way that they communicate their message, and the way that they use examples and stories throughout to keep people interested. One of my favorite people to watch is Alex Hormozzi. You can tell he chooses his language very clearly and the way he communicates information is very concise and easy to understand. Other people like James Smith, Chris Williamson do a phenomenal job communicating their information in a relatable and digestible manner. Once you have this long form piece of content, now you're going to whittle it down. That long form piece of written content is going to turn into a blog post and it's going to turn into an email newsletter. You're going to post the blog to your site. You're going to post the newsletter to your website. From there, you're going to turn that long form piece of written content into a video like the one I'm recording for you right now. That video is going to live on YouTube. From that long form video, you're going to cut it and chop it into two or three reels, 30 to 60 seconds in length that you can post on YouTube shorts, Instagram, and TikTok. Then further to that from this long form piece of content, you're going to create three more short form posts either a picture, a short reel with a caption over top, or something funny, viral, and personal that's easily shareable. Then you're gonna cross post all of these short form pieces of content onto LinkedIn, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, anywhere that you can find to post it, you're gonna post it. And you're gonna use clips from that written piece of content as your caption for those posts. So what we've done with this strategy is we've created one piece of content and we've turned it into multiple, and then we've cross posted it across many platforms. So that single piece of long form content has turned into about 20 pieces of content on different platforms, very seamlessly, very easily, and with low effort. Now that you have a great workflow, it's all about frequency. So how often can you go through this workflow will determine the volume of content that you can post. My goal for February, 2024 is to do this once a day, five days a week. That means I should be able to produce a hundred pieces of content per week. That seems like a lot, but hear me out. There's a reason behind it. Remember when I said volume begets luck? Well, if I wanna sell the products and services that I wanna sell to the volume that I wanna sell them to, I need to make sure that the volume of eyes that I have on my product match the volume of sales that I want to be making. I just spoke with a client the other day who told me they wanted 10 registrations to their group coaching product every month. And I said, great, how often do you post about it? And they said, uh, about once a week. I said, so for four posts, you want to make 10 sales. That means that each one of those posts on a social media platform where you cannot control who gets it and who doesn't needs to net you at least 2.2 sales per post. And he said, yeah, that seems pretty unreasonable. I said, it does. What if you posted once a day about this free product? He said, well, then I would only need one sale every third post if I was making 30 posts. And I said, which one would be more realistic? He's like, well, obviously posting more volume. Volume begets luck. If you wanna sell something, you need to put out as much content as possible to bring awareness to who you are, what you're selling, how it helps, and who it's for. If you're able to do that in a way that is genuine and authentic, you will be successful. If you would like a copy, I've put all the content of this video into a fantastic, social media marketing cheat sheet. In this social media marketing cheat sheet, it gives you the breakdown of everything discussed in this video and how to implement the storytelling document, the brand identity document, the ideas document, as well as how to create your content and a standard operating procedure to make it seamless and easy. If you would like a copy of this, all you have to do is comment down below with content marketing, and I will send you a message to get your email. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if I can be of any help in the future, just let me know. Stay strong.